good day. Uh, today I'm going to do a very basic recipe. It's a muffin. A muffin is essentially a quick bread. It's a bread leavened with baking powder. Uh, uh, this is a muffin using oil, but obviously you can sub uh, substitute melted butter or any oil like base. But this is just a classic, very basic muffin. I'm going to initially do it a plain muffin, and then I'm going to show you how to add flavours, add other things to it. So we'll start with the liquid ingredients. Basically, because it's oil based, we have oil, egg, and milk, and, and they're, they're the basic liquid ingredients. Now, for a muffin, you want all the um, dry ingredients ready, and then you add the liquid ingredients. You mix them, but don't over mix, and then you spoon them into your cases and put them straight in the oven. Now, my oven in the kitchen has already been preheated to 280 degrees, and it's been hot for at least 20 minutes, so that the muffins will go straight to the oven and will bake. So, first of all, we begin with the milk. Um, we have 120 mils, that's half a cup of semi skim milk here, but you can use whole milk if that's what you prefer. Now we're adding uh, a quarter of a cup of oil, but obviously you can add butter. And we're adding one egg. There goes the egg. And I'm just going to relatively loosely beat, beat this together. Yes, so everything is combined. Essentially, you want the egg to mix into the milk, and that's it. I'll put, set that aside. Now we have the solid ingredients. So here we have flour. I've got two cups, basically 200 grams of flour here. I've added a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder to this, and this is not self-raising flour; it's just plain flour. And I'm adding another teaspoon of baking powder. As I mix them together, what I want to do here is to pass them through the sieve, as you can see. So um, that puts more air into the muffin mix so it'll ra raise better. Now I'm holding the camera with one hand and trying to do this with the other hand so I'll be back in a few minutes once I've sifted it. Oh, sorry, a generous piece of salt to my uh, baking powder and flour mix. As you can see we now have a, f a fine flour mix, that means the, the flour is nicely aerated, there are no lumps and that will give you a, a better muffin in the end. So I'm now just going to add my sugar. There's quite a bit of sugar here. Um, it's 100 grams, which basically means half a cup of um, caramel, they call caramel sugar. So it's halfway between golden caster sugar and Um, that muscovado. Not as dark as muscovado, not as light as golden. So there we add. And because this is not packed, I'm adding just a little bit more than half a cup. There we go. So I'll just gradually stir that in. Just so it's just combined. Okay, now we make the batter. So I'm now just adding the liquid ingredients in a well into the muffin mix. Now here is where you don't want to over mix. So I'm just bringing the sides in and then mixing everything together. Now you, just, you want this just combined but not over mixed. Again, I need two hands for this. I'll be back shortly. Now I'm adding cranberries here because I, I happen to, to like them a lot. So I'm just going to... Uh, Stir the cranberries in, prepare my muffin melts, and I'll show you how to spoon them out. Now, I really like these um, silicon tins. They're great for washing, they go in, into your oven with no issues at all. I've got slightly posh muffin cases, um, just because they were the only ones available, basically. Uh, you don't need the muffin cases, you can grease the, the, the wells directly and put your batter in. If you're doing that, don't fill the wells more than three quarters full. But these muffin cases can be, can be uh, made almost full. So just take your batter. And you can see it's a little hard to do with one hand and put it into, drop it in. Now personally I like to actually take these in my hand 
and spoon the batter in with the other hand. I think, I think um, that's better. So uh, for the rest of the, of the tins, I'm going to do that and I'll, I'll come back when they're all filled. And there we go. That's the muffins filled and I have filled them almost to the top. There was just enough batter to fill them all. So I'm going to take them to the oven now and pop them in the oven. I've preheated the oven to 180 degrees C, 355 Fahrenheit. I'm going to, because um, these silicon trays are a bit wobbly, I'm going to pop this on a tray, on a baking tray and put them in the oven on that, just because it's easy to handle. Now, if we want chocolate muffins, that's easy. Just add a heaped tablespoon of um, chocolate, of cocoa powder, to your flour when you're sifting it. Um, I've, used pre I've used dried fruit here, you can use fresh fruit. Uh, one of my favourites is actually lemon flavour, right? just grate the zest of a lemon, add it in with a, a squeeze of lemon juice. Now if you're using lemon juice, you have to get them to the oven much quicker than I'm doing now, because the lemon will activate your baking soda, so they'll start rising straight away. These will take between 18 to 20 minutes. They could take 24 minutes, but after 18 minutes, um, check them. I'll show you when they come out how to check them and how, how to look after them. But basically these are better to go in, these are already to go in the oven. And that's your basic muffin done. Remember you can replace your um, oil with melted butter. You can also replace the milk with yogurt. And if you use a flavored yogurt that instantly gives you flavor to your muffin. Also the, the acidity in the yogurt will help with the ray so you'll get not much more risen muffins. Uh, you can use chopped banana, you can use basically whatever you want. You can even make these savoury. Um, add, add cheese. Bacon goes very well. I know it may sound a little weird but savoury muffins are very good. But these are sweet ones and I'm going to have these with a cup of tea later on. So we'll come back when they've baked in about 18 minutes time. Muffins are now baked. They're still a little hot to the touch but I'm just going to show you how to test them. So you take a a skewer or a toothpick. Uh, a metal skewer is actually better than, than a toothpick, but a toothpick will work. You insert it into the middle, and when it emerges cleanly, then your muffin is baked. So these muffins are ready now. I'm going to set, set them aside to cool for 10 minutes, then I'll remove them from the tin and allow them to cool almost completely. Like most muffins, they are actually tastier, slightly warm. They will go stale, but you can refresh them if you wrap them in a tea towel put them in the microwave, a microwave for about 20 seconds until they're just warm. Uh, the tea towel just helps um, keep the moisture in so they don't dry. So these will last for a few days. Um, I'm going to have them now for, for tea tonight and I'll have some more for the remainder for breakfast tomorrow. And there, there we go. Uh, basic muffins, which you can uh, change any way you want to. So I hope you enjoy them.